Are you confident that the Israelis have, in fact, signed off and are willing to go along with us? We are completely confident. It was an Israeli proposal. Obviously, it was a proposal that they developed in consultation with the United States and Qatar and Egypt, the three countries that have played the mediating role throughout this process, but this was ultimately an Israeli proposal. In terms of where it stands, it was submitted to Hamas on Thursday night. We have yet to hear a response. We obviously saw the statement that they put out, uh, I think it was on Friday, but we haven't gotten a response back from them. <laughs> Endless conflict in Gaza in pursuit of some idea of total victory is not gonna make Israel safer. We agree with Israel that Hamas cannot run Gaza. We agree with Israel on Israel's right and Israel's obligation to pursue Hamas for uh, the terrorist attacks of October 7th. Um, but an endless conflict without a political plan forward um, is just going to leave Israel bogged down in Gaza and it's gonna exacerbate the security challenges that they face in the north of Israel. It's gonna exacerbate the security challenges they face in the West Bank. It's gonna exacerbate the security challenges they face uh, against Iran and the proxies that it funds because it makes it more difficult to, for Israel to work with its allies uh, and its partners uh, in the neighborhood. Uh, Hamas clearly does not have the capabilities it had on October 7th when it launched um, uh, that ter hor horrific terrorist attack. It has seen its leadership degraded, not all, but uh, significantly degraded. It has seen uh, a great uh, deal of its personnel killed or captured. Uh, it has seen a great deal of its military materiel destroyed, and not just the weapons themselves, but the underground factories that they were using to produce more weapons that they used on October 7th. Those have been, in many cases, destroyed by Israel. So it is um, in many ways an incredibly diminished organization from the one that it was uh, on October 7th. And we do not believe could conduct an attack anything like the scale and scope that did on October 7th. So there were just officials from the U.S. government who met in Cairo yesterday um, uh, with uh, officials from uh, Egypt and from Israel to try work on a solution to reopen uh, Rafah Gate. There were constructive discussions, uh, professional, um, and we'll continue to pursue them in the coming days because we want to see Rafa open because that would be another gate to allow humanitarian assistance in.